Hey folks, I'm Mysterious JG, and welcome back to Let's Play Romance of Three Kingdoms 13 Fame and Strategy Expansion. So, last time we were presented with a dilemma. Uh, because we're attacking Liu Yan on the other side of China, and I decided to get. I decided we needed forces from Jian Nan to do that, which, you know, really far away. At the end of the day, I think taking out Liu Yan in one big swipe, because we needed a, you know, we needed a secondary attack by Chris Maverick to pull this thing off. So it's not like, you know, it's not like, you know, without having a constant supply of uh, privileges to consistently be able to order, hey, there's Taiwan, I think. Uh, without being able to consistently uh, use the cities of uh, Zerfal's uh, territory, um, it did kind of require everything we had from our district. So in a sense, I don't regret it because I don't think we would have actually been able to be in a position to take Jetong and uh, Yusui and uh, Yang'an and all those cities in one blows, even under Ein Strike. I don't think we would have pulled it off without using um, all of our forces. But it does mean that we have paltry troops and no officers with which to hold off Sun Tzu. So my brilliant tactical response to this, and something that I think plays nicely into... I haven't intended to do this, but people role-playing in the comments section as their creative characters have... And, you know, the character's own name, I suppose. Have turned JG Mystery into this enigmatic minister who no one can quite fathom his designs... Which is kind of fun, because he's kind of this Zhuge Liang role now, where it's like no one quite knows what he's up to. Um, but he seems to have a steely resolve to see his Lord Falger triumph. Well, JG Mystery's brilliant plan is going to be... I, I have no ability to personally go there and, and uh, you know, sit on a, on a chair atop the open city gates and strum a lute and intimidate Sun Tzu's armies into leaving because they think it must be a trick trap. This game doesn't really have that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to consider it... I'm going to go with the old uh, proverb. Um, you know, something like, you know, a soldier's life is full of victory and defeat in equal measure. Essentially what I'm saying, folks, is we're not going to attempt to protect Jian Nan. We're, gonna, we're just going to give it up. I regret the fact now that we went in and built it up because basically we built this city up from like a base level city to a level one city for Sun Tzu. We gave him a city that is now built up past that first, you know, it's got over 2,000 um, farming and culture. It has over 3,000 commerce. We built all that up just to see it taken away, but that's really the best thing we can do now. So what I want to do, my, my brilliant strategy is to finish taking, because I'll need officers for it, I want to finish taking Yuasui, or Jitong, or better yet, maybe Yang'an. Whichever one of those cities falls first, I'm going to I'm gonna transfer the officer core of Jiannan intact to run a brand new city on the other side of China. But I'll keep them together. It's kind of fun to think maybe, hey, maybe they've got some rapport together. More importantly, I know for a fact that one of them is a high enough rank to be the governor. And, uh, yeah, we're going to give the city up. That being said... Let's go back into this battle. Because I never actually... No time actually passed when I stepped out. Because at one point I was thinking, I'll transfer all of my troops... I'll transfer all my officers out. But then, between videos, I stopped and thought, I should actually just take a city first. So that we can, um... So that's interesting. They had... Maybe I misunderstood it, but it looked like they used this tactic against me. I thought that was the tactic I had at that city. But no, it's, uh... Either force can use... I guess that was their tactic to use, because they took control of the area. I'm not 100% sure. But I think once we take this base, we can have a tactical point there. All they did was freeze us. It's not really helping them that much, frankly. But the good news is that we know from having backed out, they really don't have any... Uh, they really don't have anything left. If 
Baldur army has conquered Yang An. All right. That being said, I actually am going to hold control for a second. Because uh, they took that city... I wasn't offered the chance to assign a governor to Yang On. Basically because of the fact that... Um, transfer orders... I wasn't given a chance to assign a governor because uh, I would have been asked if I wanted to do that, except I was in battle. So Yan Sam, this is there's quite a few. This is like created officer city here. So all of Jian Nan's officers are going to head over to um, that city. And um, when Sun Tzu's armies arrive, he will basically find uh, the city is just undefended and is going to surrender. And he'll probably tell his officers what a badass he is and how we're too scared to fight him. But uh, he will not advance to take over this city who I'm, that I'm hovering over but can't see the name of because of the screen I'm on. He will not advance to that city before... Uh, unless I've broken history and events have stopped happening. Uh, and I certainly have broken history in certain regions of China. But Sun Tzu will kick off before um, Wu ever advances down here. And Sun Xuan will be a lot less aggressive. But even if Sun Tzu was sticking around, um, these cities are much closer to my other cities. As far as, like, I would be able to get some help. Although, the Zerfal cities will just sit there and ignore us when we're being attacked, even if they're nearby. But I'll have to hold on to those privileges. I uh, used one... I guess what I'm saying is this is an ideal, and you guys can criticize me if you want, but in fact, attacking the city in the first place was probably probably not wise. I had an off-screen, before I even started recording, I played off-screen and managed to take out Sun Tzu's force before I took out any other force, uh, so it's certainly possible, but not, not necessarily the best way to go. But um, it could have worked, it didn't work, but... Um, this is going to be like the core uh, zone for JG Mystery's uh, next build-up anyway. But these cities will be able to... And they're under my control. So if they try to attack me, they're going to have the long march to make rather than me. And I will have a couple of cities they can reinforce. Although if I'm not in an alliance... With, if that happens when I'm not in an alliance with Liu Biao, that's inviting an attack from Liu Biao. But I can always... Liu Biao attacks me marching south, I can always march east out of this city and try to tie them up a little bit. And this is a good, this is a city where I want a strong officer corps. Eventually I'll take over Chitong, I want a strong officer corps there. The city that JG Mystery is personally taking over is going to be a little bit of a backwater. Although I want some good, good guys there to build it up and transfer out to frontline cities when they've done that. Yeah, so I was hoping it would ask me to sign a governor. Alright, now what are you up to? You're advancing on Ping Yi. This is a Zerfall force. Now, I don't know if uh, Zhitong is going to need help from these guys, but as long as they're here, they sh I mean, the fall of Zhitong. I don't know if, like, uh, my guys attacking Jatong are going to need help. But uh, I got Zhang Jian Force, who has... Who's in this force? Tedestro, Lizard Lord, Lady SKS, Earl King, and Hongo Kazudo, along with some actual historical officers, or possibly created officers who are not... I threw in the created officers that the game has. So I've got quite a few, uh, just for funsies, I'm letting you guys know. Meanwhile, Wenbu, Storm Andrew, Lita's Grandma, Karak Katai, and Panzatol, or the Panzatol Force, 
They are marching on Jatong. They do not have a, a big enough numerical advantage to make it a gimme that they're going to win. However, they're up against a force that has a lot of fewer officers. In the meantime, let's let's continue doing this. People people enjoy getting to see who's in what army. Chris Maverick, Mr. Schultz, and Lu Zhuo Wuya are the force that took over Yang An, which will be a fairly important city in our front line standoff that we're about to enter into with Liu Biao, who is almost certainly the next force we're going to conquer. And then uh, Mr. Sirius, Sirius II's force is just Sirius II. He does not have any officers backing him up because he marched out of this city here. I think it was kind of a a surprise that he got pulled into combat at that point. That was like me reacting to something. Meanwhile, Pudro Salias has got Zhao Shang with him. And he's under orders from Zerf, just kind of taking over the villages, uh, you know, suppressing little bits of resistance. He's not involved in any heavy-duty combat. And that takes us back to our fight where uh, it's JG Mystery and his sworn brother slash real brother, Bobo the Vulture. Bobo the Culture. Well, who all is in this? Okay, I guess I'm only seeing the top officers because there's sub-officers that are in each group too. So actually... Caldiez here. Vulture Bobo, Vulture Bean. Fall Jacksaurs is marching with us. Liang Liang. All of them are with us. So actually now that I think about it, I didn't I didn't really even capture accurately who's in these forces. Alright, let's do this fast. It's just who we we already knew about. They they didn't do that. They don't have like tons of sub officers. These guys, Lizard Lord, Lady SKS, we already talked about. Um, all those are prisoners with our unit. So, um, Liu Kui and Wulan are prisoners. You guys may have, may have prisoners too. Mr. Sirius may have a sub officer with him, but he doesn't. It's just Mr. Sirius leading a bunch of troops on his own. These guys. Ah, see, it is. It was worth checking out because now we know Velen Ukulus is there, and Mr. and Mi Jun, and Yan Sammy, and Ludwo Wuya. So this is really they're affiliated with Yang On now. So these guys went out and joined. I guess they went out. Some of the officers who were not available to support Jian Nan um, joined up with Mr. Schultz's army. I mean, Chris Maverick's army. Interesting. They don't all have to come out of one city together at the same time. The officers can meet up. So we're going to take control back. Boy, I'm really belaboring this. Like, if I had just... Uh, not taking control of this battle at all and wasn't jumping in and out describing stuff, we probably would have taken this uh, city in the last video. Let's see how confused you can get. So we'll go ahead and use the prayer tactic before we march on. Oh, he took over tactical point. Oh, he took over the gate. I don't know what difference that makes, because there's no tactic there. So now we can use strategy. Prayer tactic. That increases our battlefield control. Which I think was... I guess a waste of time now that I think about it. Oops. Because we already had full control. It's, I think control is the little yellow squares under your uh, commanding officer's name that tell you how many tactics you can use. So I think that was kind of wasted. So 
So Jatong is now under attack. They're going to try to defend that base. Vulture Bobo is going to place his... Um, He's going to assemble a battering ram at this gate. And I guess JG Mystery will just kind of hang around nearby. I guess JG Mystery will stay here until we've conquered this tactical point of grass. Meanwhile, Huang Quan has gotten more troops. Or uh, Gao Pei has gotten more troops. Of those guys' morale has gone down to zero. JG Mystery is in control of a tactical point. I mean, we're winning this fight. It's just a... Uh... I guess he's going to come out and fight, so we should uh, back off and give him as much get as far away from the castle defenses as we can when he comes out to fight. Or maybe they can't make up their minds. Well, I mean, we could attack this gate. But we'll get shot at the whole time. This is kind of... I don't know. seems like this is the, the way to go. This gate's going to fall for sure. So now that the battering ram is up, I guess we can attack it too. Part of me wants these guys to just, uh, instead of attacking the gate, I guess they can go over here. Or they'll be passing by the catapults, but it can't really be helped. So he's going to get up on the... Uh, gonna get up on the gates and start attacking us. Oh, he's shooting at JG Mystery, eh? I think I can shoot at him. I'm not positive, but I think I can. Or does that involve no? I think. Does it think that I'm going to actually go into the city to do that? Yeah. Okay. I can't actually attack from... I can't attack him. So we just need to knock down the, the gates as fast as possible. Not attacking Bobo, am I? Kind of looks like I'm attacking Bobo. So we're all going to cluster together in the gate, which would be terrible if they have fire tactics or anything like that, but I'm almost positive they don't. I suppose I could check, but... Taste my brain, bitches. You dare to stop me? Gate Brook! That would be the... Uh unofficially English patched version of a prior Dynasty War, or a Romance of Three Kingdoms game. We just want to get through as fast as we can.
gonna encircle him. I'm not sure that it matters. His morale is already at zero. Use attack command for what that's worth. He's Bow of the Gods. What does that actually do? I think it means he can shoot in all directions at once. What the hell? Let's try Bow of the Gods out. Don't know if he's close enough for it to actually mean that he's hitting both guys. I don't think he actually is. No luck. Oh, you know why he's. Why am I even bothering to order them to attack? He's going to get defeated before they can. Oh, the gods is pretty effective there. Although Gao Pei wasn't exactly the most devastatingly powerful unit in the history of Chinese military. So Fat John won a duel, but Vulture Bobo still got first. The prayer tactic has improved. Its experience has increased from 0 to 13. You ranked first. Oh, I'm Zhang Fei. Wait, no, that was Fat John. You teach me your insight and talent. You beat me? Prepare to die. That is all. Falls, your army has conquered Yuasui. Five officers, including Huang Quan, have been captured by JG Mystery Force. One or more of my cities lacks an officer. Alright. So... We're about to lose this city. We've already assigned officers up here. Um, we're going to have a bunch of officers. We're going to end up uh, hiring uh, anybody from Liu Yan's force who doesn't like have the he hates Folger message. Uh, so we'll probably have a handful of guys who won't want to work for us right away, but we should get them all eventually. And none of them are going to come over to work for us until after we finish off the force, at which point they will no longer have a force to be loyal to. But in the meantime, we'll grab... I kind of don't want to break up the family over here. I'm hoping I can still maintain six officers there. And somebody with a rank that's high enough to be the mayor, though. I'm thinking of taking... Uh, thinking of possibly taking a Liang Liang with me to hang around because he's, he's a good war minister... He's a good minister. He's got the uh, the ability that does um, impartiality. Yeah, keeps keeps officer loyalty very high. Take Lady SKS over there. Maybe it's time. F well, he's only rank eight. I could start praising all dragon and make him the mayor over there. But as of now, he doesn't have a high enough uh, rank to do what I wanted to do over there. I didn't want to break up the family, but I might have to. I'll take him away. He's not a created officer, so they won't really notice he's gone. Maybe that'll have to do until I can um, start hiring Falger office or the Liu Yan officers and get things organized. No, I didn't mean to do. Well, we just took Jatong, so never mind. I was about to say we needed to. On month seven of the year 195, Liu Yan army fell. Six officers, including Yan Yan, have been captured by Panzertol force, and cities lack officers. All right. Well, I'm gonna. I guess I'm reorganizing right now. Karakatai is gonna go over there. Zhutong will be an important city, so I need to get them somebody uh, to be the mayor. Mijun 
is not quite high enough rank to be mayor, but what rank do you have to be? You probably have to be rank five. Chris Maverick probably can't be mayor, but he's probably pretty close. Tedestro is... Oh, Tedestro will end up being the mayor. I'm going to have to break up the family, All Dragon. You're no longer going to be a companion. If you even were, I can't remember now. Well, we need to hire a bunch of Liu Jiang officers, or Liu Yan officers, and spread them around. Changing cities will dismiss Chris Maverick as a minister. And he'll dismiss a comrade. All drag is no longer a comrade. Sorry about that, buddy. Alright. But at this point, I've given up. Yeah, we can't get back in time to defend that city anyway. So we're just going to dismiss our various armies. Or disperse. I think the combat music will continue to play because... Well, we'll continue to hear the war music because of the fact that um, JG Mystery, or that until until we actually get around to, well, I need to get back to Chengdu and assign officers, um, ministers and stuff. But uh, until Sun Tzu hurry up, hurries up and takes that city, we will continue to hear this. You know, there is war music. Probably want to get into a city that is nowhere near the battle. That might change if I'm actually in the city, but on the map it'll play. So, let's make sure every place has a governor. It's possible we do not have a governor for um, this little city yet, because it only has two officers, and neither of them are high enough rank. And I'm considered governor here, but that will change when that city falls. So I need to move things around and get somebody who's level 5 or 6 over here. But um, that's not the super priority right this second. Uh, war minister who has a good war thing. Liang Liang has an awesome war thing. Domestic minister. Uh, lowers provision consumption. That's a pretty good one. Although working time and market farm and study hall might be even better. But you only get one order. So I'm going to go with Vulture Bean. And then military minister, let's see, horses, or defense. We'll go with defense. And it's basically time to hire as many people as possible. And to that end, I think the only thing that I don't have to become the prime minister is I need eight more missions so I will personally hire a bunch of people because that's probably the fastest way to do this eight missions so I'm in Chengdu let me start with the officers in Chengdu meanwhile we just took over USUI which is really kind of remote, so maybe I'll get somebody else to hire them. Well, no, you won't do it. You're in Chengdu, so I want to hire you myself if I can. You're in Jitong. I'll have somebody else start doing the officers in Jitong. No officers are available. All right. I think it's just about time to call it a video here now, so um, I think we will do that, and when we come back, we will do more of this. We've just conquered Liu Yan, which means we have the Fertile Shu Valley is all ours, and um, it's time to uh, get as many of his officers as possible working for us to start building these cities up. 
from there, I think we just wait until the alliance with Liu Biao has ended before we make our next military move. Sadly, we are giving up a city to Sun Tzu, but um, he doesn't seem to be... I don't know, it seems like it's going to take a while for that to actually pan out. On the Mysterious JG, thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.